Hi, I'm Richard Burton, head gardener at Item Moat, and here's a small selection of some of the garden plants, wildflowers and animals you can see in the garden at the moment. Narcissus tetatet is a good strong growing medium sized daffodil that's been used to great effect in the formal garden. And in the cutting garden, Jack Snipe always puts on a great display alongside the lavender hedge which will look fantastic in the summer. The larger varieties of daffodils are just coming to flower in the orchard so we'll put on a great display. This is an interesting daffodil with a long trumpet called Peeping Tom. And there's got some more snowflakes underneath a Japanese quince, which is starting to look lovely. We have frog spawn in the North Lake and the sunny flowers of king cups like the daffodils really shine out on even a day when there's no sunshine. Following on from the frogs, the toads are now active and we have toad spawn in the North Lake as well. We have quite a lot of lovely spring primroses. And here we're waiting to see if our experimental short wildflower meadow will work. This area has been reseeded with wildflowers and a grass seed mix after stripping off the turf to hopefully create another area of wildflower meadow. The moles certainly seem to have been enjoying it. In the dell we'll have foxgloves in the summer and the euphorbias are just starting to flower now. Uh, there's dog's mercury and then the erythroniums hopefully will flower quite soon. We have the bright yellow flowers of Lesser Celandine. The hellebores have been great, purple ones and white ones. And also the cardamine pentaphylla, which is a lovely flower for early in the year. And there's one of the white hellebores. Fern fronds are just starting to emerge and will look lovely in the early morning light shining through them. There's some more erythroniums and then lungworts are also going to be showing soon. By the stream in the play area, there's a very interesting plant called Tolmia, which produces plantlets just where the leaf stalk joins the leaf. The play area has been got ready for reopening. If you look closely, you'll see tiny little plants that most people overlook. This one is called Moschatel. And this one is the opposite leaved golden saxifrage, which adds great splashes of colour around wet areas. The camellias are starting to put on a nice show and hopefully will produce more and more flowers over the coming weeks. On the walls, the old brescia is just starting to come into flower. Thank you for watching our little video.